Our next destination is the second largest city in the United States, Los Angeles. Like all the other cities in the United States, Los Angeles has a downtown with gigantic skyscrapers and a distinctive skyline. Only since 1957, the skyscrapers are not allowed to be built higher than 13 floors because of the risk of earthquakes. Even though numerous banks, insurance companies, and large firms are located in the blocks of steel and glass, the importance of the downtown for the rest of the city is relatively small. In order to get a better view of LA, we ride the elevator to the 50th floor of a skyscraper. The mega city of LA is made up of numerous cities that have grown together. There is no natural downtown. The extension of the city from north to south, like from east to west, amounts to over 100 kilometers. A very popular recreation area is Santa Monica, a beachfront city in western Los Angeles located directly on the Pacific Ocean. Nearly 18 million people live in this conurbation. It takes several hours to go from one end of the city to the other by car you have the impression of driving through a never-ending suburb. An extensive expressway system was built around the individual city districts of the large, expanding LA Moloks. For a long time, they did without public transportation. Instead of it, the freeways were built wider. 12-lane freeways and four-storied intersections were not uncommon in LA. But even that does not help anymore. For decades, they cannot deal with the ever-growing abundance of cars. Tons of pollution and persistent smog are the logical consequences of this chaos on the roads. We can only hope that the extension and improvement of the public transportation system will go quicker than it has. The most famous district of LA is Hollywood. The first film studio settled down here around 1920, and in the following decade, Hollywood became the indisputable number one in the film and TV industries. In 